Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Nethergate Resurrection. Uh, we've done some exploring and wandering about and various other kinds of crap like that, and uh... Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't remember too much, except we did explore up here, the area over here. We may have done a bit more, but I can't quite remember what it was. Yeah, and it's only been a day, yeah, my memory's not always the best. Anyway, we found, uh... We found a cave up here, which probably has griffins in it, and we found this cave here, which I think might have, uh, might, if I'm right, it would, it might have the, uh, lamp for the genie that, that guy had. Although I'm curious about the way these rocks are arranged here. Very interesting. Means it could have been here for a while. Oh well, let's go in and see. Yeah, just explore around the entrance because I like uncovering everything. I'm weird like that. This underground is very strange. It looks like it has been dug out very recent, only very recently, and the walls are covered with moss and vines. Everything is warm and damp to the touch. Warm air slowly passes in and out of the entryway, as if the whole complex is breathing. The air reeks of rot, of dead plants, and flesh. There is a single passage leading farther in. It is to the north and blocked by a huge black iron gate. There is a huge gate here keeping you from entering the enormous chamber beyond. It is made of black iron bars, thick, twisted, and covered with spikes. Fortunately, there is a keyhole, and the key you took from the t from Titus fits. You open the gate. Ah, Hall of the Lamp, so this is definitely it. This is interesting. I'll take a look to this. Uh... There's another huge gate here, keeping you from entering the enormous chamber beyond. It is made of black iron bars, thick, twisted, and covered with spikes. There is a keyhole, but you don't have a key which fits it. The gate is too large and heavy to break down. You turn away. There is another gate here. It is smaller than the gate in the entryway, but it is no less solid. The wrought iron of the bars has been worked into the shapes of skulls and bones. It is not locked. You have but to reach out and open it. When your hand gets close to the handle, however, the metal skulls come to life. You sense the presence of the dead of Shadowvale brought back to guard the gate. They turn and look at you. Then they begin to gibber and scream. They start out loud at first, and then they become louder. You stumble back, your hands over your ears as the spirits of the dead howl at you. But then you halt your retreat. You remember that you are Romans. The superstition of the savages is nothing to you. The curses of their people are unimportant to a civilized warrior. You stand up straight, walk up to the gate, and push it open. The skulls look at you reproachfully. Then they grow silent. Oh, it's probably going to be coming around to a- HOLY CRAP! Vengeful dead. Oh, this is going to hurt a lot. And those things are probably immune to darts of ice. So give him a huge healing. That helps a fair bit. Uh, Lance of Fire. At least we finish off one of them. Hey, a level up for Julius! And then he dies immediately. Uh, you know what? Let's see what Darts of Ice does. It does absolutely nothing. Somehow, I am not surprised. Well, these guys are surprisingly strong. Okay, once again, lance of fire. And there he goes. Lance of fire. Still alive, there goes another. Yeah, we're gonna die here. <laughs> At least we killed one of them. Yeah. Well, this sucks. Alright, now let's further in. Ow, ow, ow. Quick mild healing for him. There we are. Uh, I didn't mean to miss. Okay, uh, that was poor choice. Let's try that reloading because that was not a very good choice. Alright, back in we go again. Stop that. Actually, I have an idea.
Now, if we wait here for a while... There he is! Oh! Alright! He takes damage when they, when they hit us. Excellent! And Julius leveled up. Delightful, Julius! Delightful! Uh, <laughs> ten points. I think I remember I was going to give him points of dexterity. Yeah, that'll help immensely. Alright, now that that's done... Alright, enter combat. Really? You missed? You had to miss. Alright, lance of fire. Fire off that. And another lance of fire. We're gonna be stuck with lance of fires here. Darts of ice is not gonna be working well. I just realized they're actually not getting damaged. That's not right. They should be getting a lot of damage. Excuse me. Right, another lance of fire. Huge pain. Alright. One of those. There you go. You need to give a big heal to him. And you, a lance of fire at that one. Well, at least we're doing a number on the dead. Well, undead, actually. Another big healing. And another lance of fire. Still alive, but we can finish him off just like that. Aha! Ah, shit! God damn it! Oh. That's quite a bit of undead. Didn't see those coming at the end there. God damn acid. Screwed up Julius. Lance of fire. Healing. He's really focusing on the healing, but at least he's getting it done. Holy crap, that's a lot. Okay, that one's dead at least. Lance of fire. You know, we should, pro we should probably start using the Quicksilver feet here, because this is not going well at all. Yeah. We are dying very quickly, and that is not good. We are probably going to die horribly here. Again. Wish we could use darts of ice. It would be hugely helpful. Yeah, all that's left are our mages, and they're about... And he's about to die. Just... Just fire the slings. And there you go. Okay! Alright, let's try the other direction. There is another gate here. It is smaller than the gate in the entryway, but it is no less solid. There is no keyhole. It is inscribed with several lines in a strange runic language. You don't know enough of the ways of the barbarian to decipher it. You leave it alone. Oh! Oh! I'm guessing... I'm guessing this way is supposed to be for the Romans, since... Those screaming skulls would probably scare away the Celts. And this one, the Celts would figure out. But we can't because we are Romans, so we have to go this way. Please stop that. Alright, and now we wait. There you are! There you go. Alright, Julius, let me give you your dexterity again. There you go. Another mild healing. Uh, make it a second one, too. Alright, then. And it drop. Nothing we need. Alright, then. Now, we need to get the attention of those undead. There we are. This is going to hurt a lot, I'd imagine. Oh, I should have cast the... Alright, uh, actually cast a shielding on him. That'll help immensely. You, uh, you know what, call, call some aid. It might do a little something. And a quick silver feet on him. 
That helps a lot. I guess we didn't really need the call aid. Still, it's something. Ah, right. Uh, wait. There you go. And now, Lancifier. Uh, mild healing on him. Another lance of fire. Well, that one's dead at least. Yeah, we're gonna get the attention of the rest of them very soon. Lance of fire! Uh, throw one of those at it. It missed. Alright, another lance of fire. Nice. Ow, ow. Oh, jeez, he's almost dead. Okay, lance of fire, that thing. Good. Big healing, big healing. Oh, crap. I think he may be in trouble. Lance of fire. Uh, you should... You know what? Healing elixir. Huge help. There we go. Ow, ow. Yeah, this is, this is rapidly going poorly. We need to kill those quickly. Those are the bigger problem. And you... Uh... Lance of fire. Ow. Yeah, you can at least... You can do a lot to those, actually. I'll focus on the, uh, risen dead. You focus on the other guys. Huge healing again. And you... Lance of fire. That helps a lot. Big pain. Big pain. Excellent. Aha! Nice try. Ah, crap. Alright. We can kill this one at least. Alright. Lance of fire. There we go. Alright, give a big healing. Okay. We'll come back to pick that stuff up in a moment. I'm just going to go quickly reheal him. Uh, get him back. You know what I mean. Then we'll pick that stuff up. Cutting! Apparently, Augustus was carrying an extra bronze plate mail. Or it was sitting on the floor or whatever. Alright, let's take a look in these places. Let's see. Bones. Bones. How about in these three? Ooh, a jeweled ring. That's valuable. A skull. Skull and bones. How about these two? Nothing there. Oh, we can't actually... Interesting, we can't actually investigate that one. Oh! Shut up. Oh. Ah, jeez. Okay, uh, that never happened. I um, shut up. Uh, let's see. The only thing we found in here was this jeweled ring. And I ran ahead a bit m too much, and... Undead Spirit came up. There it is. Several undead spirits. I see more over there. Come, attack me! No, not him, me! There you go. Alright, we can kill these guys fairly easily. I mean, we get the attention of one at a time. Ah, and Julius can kill them with very g nice ease. Just like that. <laughs> Nothing's attacking us in yet. Let's see. Quality battle axe. Bronze plate mail. Very nice.
come to me, O oh wind warrior, you will perish. And there you go. Oh! Oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? Ow. Uh, you can actually... Darts of Ice... Well, that hurt a bit. Give him a big healing. There you go. You can at least kill those three. Well, one of them, anyway! Really? You're still slowed? Ugh. Bloody hell. Alright, another big healing. And what the hell, darts of ice again. No, that would actually be useless. Alright, lance of fire that thing. There you go. Ah. There, that one's dead. Alright, lance of fire, get rid of that spirit while we can. No, no, actually. Uh, healing. Healing on Julius. And... I really st I still need to do so much b better with uh, talking and the like. You know, things to talk about and discuss and crap like that. Not as good as I'd like to be. I need to figure out what the hell to talk about. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, there's the hey, there we go. Uh, come on. Kill it already. There you go. Lance of fire. Give him a healing. Uh, I need something to talk about. Um, how about the way these uh, places are actually made and built? Because, you know, the way these places are built, it's, it's actually not that bad. It's kind of interesting. I mean, they do build them in ways that make sense. The dungeons, the maps, and all that kind of stuff, they're generally built and made in ways that make sense. Which is, actually, very, very nice to see. I mean, hell, sometimes you even see, uh... Sometimes you even see them put in bathrooms. That's something you never see in any games. Plant some fire. Ah, jeez, I didn't mean to do that. You rarely ever see bathrooms in anything, and spiderweb software, at least they actually are smart enough to go, okay, yeah, there's a bathroom in this area, because they need to use the bathroom, you know? Granted, there aren't any bathrooms in this place, because it's Halls of the Dead, but still, when they put them in, it's nice to see them put it in. Land Sapphire, almost got it. There we go. All right. Uh, Druid's robe, ceremony, blessed gloves, plus five percent resistance to fire damage. Not bad. That's resistant to illness. Yeah, that's better. Actually, yeah, I'll give it to him. Gauntlets. You know what? Give the gauntlets to him. <laughs> has has it really been so long that nobody's had anything there. Fascinating. Alright, uh, drop off those. A healing. And, you know what? First aid on her. Excellent! And it recovered spell energy, too. Now... Okay, I can't obviously go to those, but... I'm gonna save before I go up to this thing. Alright, let's take a look here. You shudder slightly when you get close to this altar. You can feel the dark magic held within it. You keep a safe distance away. Oh, hello, Wind Warrior. Uh-oh, Lost Soul is here. I don't see it. Ah, over there, I think. No, no, I think it's over in the upper right, most likely. I can't see it. You know what? Fire that. Ah, you missed! Hey, there we go. A level up. Uh, for Septimus. Big heal, big heal. Uh, what is alertness? Cure sleep and paralysis. That's what we should have been using when he was asleep! Oh, God, I am an idiot. 
Alright, uh, you, you, cast a mild healing. You can't really do very much. Uh, Quicksilver Feet, actually. There we are. Oh! What the hell? Hostile Arch Druid Torgal. That does not sound very good. Uh, Lance of Fire? Holy crap, that guy is strong. This is gonna be rough. Call aid! Provide meat for them to get distracted on! Oh boy, this is going to be extremely rough. Um... They're all immune to darts of ice. Son of a crap, this is gonna be bad. Call more meat for the fire! Call more meat to draw their attention. Okay, that's going to help a lot. Ow, ow. Ah, oh, jeez, they are summoning a lot of pain. This is bad. Okay, he actually summoned a Karyatid. That's even worse. Okay, this is all going very badly, very quickly. Quicksilver feet on him. Ah, shit. Paralyzed? Oh, jeez. We are getting overwhelmed here. We went the wrong way. Oh, good. Karyatids are immune to darts of ice as well. <laughs> uh, we're dead. We are so dead. So, so dead. In so many ways. Futile stabs! Futile stabs! Futile vengeance! Burn him a bit! Yeah. Okay, so. You know what? Let's, uh, let's approach this way. There you go. Wind warriors! They are annoying. Septimus! You leveled up! Point and health circle. There you go. Next time we'll improve druidism. Alright, mild healing. Wait, 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 wait. Where is the slow gonna go away? Bloody hell, go there we go. Ah, hell. And the slow. God damn it. Lance of fire. We need to get rid of that spirit first. ASAP. Before it summons in more help. Alright, fire off that. Alright, another lance of fire. And another lance of fire. We'll finish that off in the next round. Right now. Oh, come on! Alright, finish the thing off. Seriously? Both of you? Alright, fine. Now for these bears. Horrible, horrible bears. Ah, oh boy. Big healing. Seriously, it, how do you miss that? Darts of ice, there's two sons of a... There. Oh, come on, the bear survived? It's probably only got one hit point left. There. Now this wind warrior needs to die. Then once we do, we'll be able to kill that arch druid. Although that's gonna be a hell of a fight, I can only imagine. Especially since it can do paralysis. Uh, you need to do a healing to him. There you go. Yeah, see? Okay. Healing! There we go. Doesn't look like there's anything else back here, so I guess we have to kill that arch druid. Only thing we can do. And I that. Wanna be your friend. Yes, yes, shut up. This is gonna be a fight. Alright, you know what? I think we can start with. Beast Ceremony! Alright, begin the fight. 
All right. Uh, Quicksilver feet, I believe, is a decent start. You heal him. I shouldn't have waited so long. Now we need to deal with these Tariatids. Julius can focus on that, but still, this is going to be a rough fight. Uh, healing. There we are. You can't do very much. You... Another Quicksilver feat on him. There. You can hold off the Karyatid. Oh god. Well, we're doing a lot to the Archdruid. So there's that at least. Big heal! Alright, uh... Call aid, summon in more meat for them to attack. Lance of fire. Oh, great, those things are immune to fire! And magic! They're immune to all magic, aren't they? Great, so my mages are completely useless against them. Wonderful, just, just wonderful. Uh, oh, uh, okay. You... Use an energy draw. There we are. And you... Wow, a miss. Wonderful. Holy crap, that guy's got a got a lot of these things. Okay, we are going to die here. I mean, we killed one of them, but still, holy crap. And someone got charmed. Of course, charming, which we've rarely ever seen, means he's going to attack us now. And down we go. Welp! <laughs> oh, look at that! The Karyatids all disappeared. And down I go. Well, that was an amusing end, at least. Okay, so, let's try this again. Beast Ceremony. Can't cast that, so, um... Haste Draught. What did I just click? I don't know. Get to the Arch Druid. And charmed. Great. Okay, so. Unshackle Mind, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he'll be able to cast that, so. No, first. There. He's no longer shackled. Now we heal him. Okay. Now, quick silver feed on him, so he'll be able to attack. You, uh, call aid, summon in bodies for them to attack. You, another quick silver feed on him, that'll help. Now we need to kill this archdruid before we get flooded by karyatids again. All right, another big healing. You can't really do very much, so just... You missed. God dang it, why did you miss? All right, uh... Lance of Fire. We're gonna get flooded again very quickly. I'm doing everything I can. Okay, that Karyatid's almost defeated, at least. There, that Karyatid's dead. Good. All right, uh... Almost got rid of this arch druid. You f your foe has a key hanging on a chain around its neck. You pick it up. It is very hot to the touch. It's not quite glowing, but it's close. You wrap it up in a piece of cloth before you put it in your pack. There we go! Son of a... Mm. God damn it! Bloody karyatids! Completely destroyed us! And now we're going to die to them because we're getting overwhelmed. Ah! We're gonna kill this guy before the end of this episode, and that's how we're going to end it. God damn it. 
Ugh. We can't even see him before this begins. Ugh. All right, get in there. And he already summoned a Karyatid. God damn it. All right, uh, Quicksilver feet then on him. Come on, come on. And charmed. Fortunately, we'll be able to do something about that right now with Unshackle Mind. There you go. Charm removed. Just what we needed. All right. Get in there. We must kill that guy. Healing. All right, and you can't do anything there. You can at least lance a fire him. Ow, ow. Oh, he's paralyzed. I didn't even realize. Great. Just bloody great. Okay. You can cure that. That's an interesting sound for it. All right, lance of fire. God damn slows. All right. We got him, we got him. And this time there's only one of those damn Karyatids. Lance of fire. Alright, big healing. And another lance of fire. Almost got him. Oh, the bloody slow. Seriously, finish him! There we go! He's dead. Now we just need to kill these Karyatids. And unfortunately, they're immune to all magic damage. Alright, uh, big healing for him. Big healing for him. Oh, this is slow! Hate it! Come on, finish it! Kill these Karyatids! We've got through this! We can finish this! No, no! Oh shit. Uh, energy draught. Healing him. There you go. And that was a good thing we did. <laughs> oh boy. Healing him. Healing him. All we're doing is focusing on healing each other because we're so slow we can't even attack them. On the plus side, we're just about through this. Oh, jeez. Big healing... Oh, come on! Well, if Septimus can heal... Okay, Septimus, heal him! Get him alive! Good. Oh, thank Christ, it's over! Oh boy. Torque and a gold necklace. Fine. Bloody hell. That was ridiculous. Okay, um, now that that's finally done, I'm going to step outside, I'm going to rest, and then I'm going to save and end this episode. Your enchanted pen seeks out some paper in vain. We'll have to pick some up at some point. For now, though, Holy crap, that was a fight. And it was ridiculously long as well, and goddamn monsters, I don't want to deal with you bears! Go away, you stupid bears. Go away. Okay, this episode was stupidly long, but at least it's done. So, yeah. Next episode, we'll go into the Hall of the Lamp. Till then, I am Chester44, that is Julius Augustus Septimus Octavius and Rion. This has been a Navigate Resurrection Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.